Cable North Country, and welcome to Peru Community Church as North Country Cable Network brings you an evening of music, stories, and fun with the Upstate New Yorkers featuring Gary Finney, Tom Venn, Leon Langto, Ron Dupree, and Carl Chasen. Rod Driscoll will introduce the MC of tonight's show, Mr. Charlie Stone from WIRY Hometown Radio. Everybody, nice to see you. Lovely evening out there. Um, this is our second uh, concert of this season. I, I hope you all pick up our schedule for the rest of the year. It's on the table uh, right where you came in. Um, I would like to thank the uh, Council of the Arts for Clinton County and New York State Council of the Arts for helping to fund our series. And uh, I'd like to thank the Senior Heights for helping out as they always do. And um, I want to thank someone else who. Uh, is a real friend of North Country music, and um, you know, he's sort of the voice of the North Country at, at Wiry, and um, we really appreciate everything he does, for not just for this series, but for promoting artists like Gary Finney and myself and many others who, who perform in this area. So let's have a big hand for Charlie Stone. Thanks, Rod. This is, uh, this is a pleasure for me. I tell you, Peru is, uh, is getting to be a center for, for entertainment. I'll tell you, this is, this is great for local entertainment. Uh, I'd like to tell my audiences that, uh, that you ought to get out and see some local entertainment because you'll always see a good show. And boy, I'll tell you, you're going to see one tonight. Those of you that have seen or heard uh, Gary in the uh, past know what I'm talking about. If you happened to listen to my, my show last, uh, last week, you had two hours of of uh, Gary Finney, uh, well, uh, sponsored country music and a lot of Gary's music uh, as well. And you know exactly what you're, what you're up for tonight. Uh, the uh, Gary has uh, put together the Upstate New Yorkers, and uh, his group is made up of, of entertainers that have shaped the the music of the North Country for a good many years now. And a good many of the songs that you're going to hear tonight are Gary Finney compositions that. Uh, that open up the heart of the North Country, and you'll have yourself a fine, fine program tonight. So let's, uh, without any further ado, let's put our hands together and welcome Gary Finney and the Upstate New Yorkers. Thank you, Charlie. Well, we're going to have a good time tonight. I, I, we are, anyways. I don't know if you are or not. And we'll, uh, we'll probably probably won't tell any stories or anything like that. <laughs> we might just well start right off with a song that I wrote a long time ago. It was one like this. I'm just from upstate New York, near that Canadian border, just 70 miles south of Montreal. Hey, can you teach me? Hey, give me all the mail, tell us a little 
a lot of people out like you and roll a bottle of blue gum. He gave a lot of people the sign. And let us not forget Mr. Billy Ray Cyrus. His rockin' made me crazy. Give me all the mail, tell us little Jimmy Dickens or John. Girl, hang
coolest guy in the group. It's <laughs> not your turn to sing already, is it? It's not mine either. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's not mine. Well, I'm Ronnie, step up and do a real fine song for you. One I'm sure you've all heard one says, Don't you ever get tired of the person making it to you, Dave. Because if he hadn't honked, 
I would never have known it. I found that lots of people love Jesus. Why, while I was waiting, there was a guy behind me started honking like crazy. Then he leaned out of his window and screamed, for the love of God, go, go. Jesus Christ, go. <laughs> what an exuberant cheerleader he was for Jesus. Everyone started honking. I just leaned out of my window, stared at him, smiling to all these loving people. I even hopped my horn a few times to share with him the love of Jesus. Well, there must have been a man from Florida back there because I heard him say something about a sunny beach. <laughs> <coughs> now I saw another guy waving in a funny way with only his middle fingers stuck up in the air. So when I asked my teenage son in the back seat what that meant, he said it was probably a Hawaiian good luck sign or something. <laughs> well, I never met anybody from Hawaii, so I leaned out of the window and gave him the good luck sign back. <laughs> my son burst right out laughing. Why, even he was enjoying this wonderful religious experience. A couple of the people were so caught up in the joy of the moment that they got out of their car and they started to walk towards me. Well, I bet they wanted to pray or ask me what church I attended. But this is when I noticed the light that changed. So I waved to all my brothers and sisters, grinning and drove through the intersection. Then I noticed I was the only car that got through the intersection before the light changed again. I felt kind of sad that I had to leave them all after all the love we had shared. So I slowed my car down, leaned out the window, and gave them all the Hawaiian good luck sign before I drove away. One more time. Praise the Lord for such wonderful people. Yours truly, Hubert. Yeah, we're going to 
Billy first. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're getting our word is in your name. <laughs> Here's one called making plans.
Drew. Huh? Well, we got the old guy up there. <laughs> Boy, I love this. <laughs> well, we got him up there. We're going to have him do another one here. What's uh, one called Dropping Out of Sight? Like this. I regret 
taken so long replying to your letter. But I finally have an answer to your question. Yes, we have a BC. It's located nine miles north of the campground. <laughs> now you see, the campground owner thought it was the Baptist Church. You see, the Baptist Church. It's located nine miles north of the campground. And it's capable of seeing 250 people at one time. <laughs> It sits in a beautiful pine grove and is open on Sundays and Wednesdays. <laughs> now I admit nine miles is quite a distance away if you are in the habit of going regularly. <laughs> but you would be pleased to know quite a number of people take their lunches with them and make a day of it. <laughs> they usually arrive early and stay late. In fact, my daughter met her husband at the BC. <laughs> the last time my wife and I went was six years ago. <laughs> and it was so crowded we had to stand up the entire time. <laughs> Sometimes it's so crowded there are five to a seat. It may interest you to know that there's a supper being planned to raise money for more seating. It pains me very much not to be able to go more regularly, but it sure is not for the lack of desire on my part. And it seems to be more of an effort to go as we get older, particularly in the cold weather. If you do decide to go to our campground, perhaps I could go to the BC with you the first time, sit with you and introduce you to all the other folks. We'll be sure to have you a seat in the front where you can be seen by everyone. Needless to say, that lady didn't go to that campground. <laughs>
got that mail in out here. We're going to do one that, uh... What's that?
Here's a song that uh, has been.
Thank you, Thank you very much. That definitely will be on the album of another song. If any of the background of what could ever sing today is the song that you're going to hear a little bit later. <laughs>
He was here last year too. And uh, it's one of them simple guys. Mr. Junior Simple. Here he is. All right, man.
about a year ago. And you know what? My date was a pin-up calendar model. What was her name? Her name was Beulah. Beulah? Beulah? She's on Beulah? Beulah on a pin-up calendar? I know Beulah. Wait a minute. You don't know my Beulah, do you? I think I know Beulah. Hey, Pepe. You don't want to the collar wall for you, won't you?
Junior? Wait. I don't know if you're going to understand this one. But there's a song here, and I know you've been practicing on this a lot. I've I heard you've been practicing. And I've been told you've been practicing. You've been practicing? You think you got it down now? All you have to do All you have to do now is just whatever I say, you repeat it. Whatever I say, you repeat it. Whatever I say, you repeat it. You got it. You got it. Are you 
never seen that before. Huh? <laughs>
two more songs we're going to do with them or going to ask. Tell us what you want to hear a little from you. Know? Here's another song that I wrote. I don't know how I wrote this. I don't know why I wrote it. You just got to get your guitar ready. Right? <laughs> Boy, I'm going to tell you what. Bet you're not hot anymore, are you? Thank you. 
program that we like the very, very best is where we go. Uh, and the audience kind of like it too. We're over in the what was it, Pitt Vision? Yeah. Over there in that music that they did, and it was really fun. And people told me to go into the place over there. We think you might actually hear something. You know, we got one before we come up here that goes out to somebody who's trying to go in. There's white lightning. I think they're doing a good job. What white lightning? You don't know. I know. You know. I know. I know. Well, I do it. You want to know what you want to do? You know what you want to do? You want to know what you want to do?
We had a request for Eliza Jennings. Anybody remember Eliza?
New Yorkers from Peru Community Church. This is Fox Gagnon. The Upstate New Yorkers feature Gary Finney, Tom Ben, Leon Langto, Ron Dupree, and Carl Chasen. This is Fox Gagnon on behalf of everyone in North Country Cable Network saying good night, North Country. Thank you.